Hi everyone, in this video I will be looking at the additional tools and features that we may have to analyze our current surface or the existing surface. In other words, the tools and features that will give us better understanding of our current surface that we are working with. So if I select the points just to hide them, we focus on the surface. I'll go hide objects, I'll keep them for later on if we need them. Just waiting for them to be selected. Obviously, we've got a large number. Hide objects, and that will hide our points. So currently, this is our surface. If we would like to have a better understanding, a third dimension, if you'd like to call it, for our surface, we can just right click on the surface, and if we go to surface style, just so we can get an understanding of what features that we can look into. If I go to the display tab, so display tab, I scroll down here. These are the features that are turned off currently. What we can analyze from these features are under the analysis. We've got these four main features. One of the useful features that we can analyze or just have a better understanding of or further look into it is the elevations. So if we go to the elevations and we turn it on, when I turn on the elevation here, if I press apply, that will give me the standard appearance of the elevation. It's just measured as a different shades of blue. We can change that view arrangement. If I go to the analysis and we go under the elevation, so I, the range color scheme is blues. We have different features there. So if we go to rainbow, mainly that will give you the color variation along the entire surface. Obviously each color here will define a different range of elevations. So from higher to lower or from higher to lower, we don't know yet where is the highest and the lowest points. Um, one of the more printing friendly color schemes are the pastels. So they are exactly the same, but a bit faded that it's just more forgiving when you're printing those out, not very strong colors. So if we choose that color scheme to start with and we go, okay, this is all what we changed here. As you can see, we changed the style, just we changed how the surface looks like, that's all. Uh, we added that additional feature from the display, we added the elevations, by and okay. Now, how can we analyze this feature and have a better understanding of this feature for the surface if I go right click and go to the B surface properties or when we say right click you've got many options like you've got the surface properties from here or right click on the surface here and go surface properties all will take you to the same location so we are working with the existing surface if we go to the analysis tab we have the option there to analyze so what we changed first is the style so we can look at it in a different way in this tab, we can analyze it. If we go to the elevations for the analysis type, so let's go to, we are going to choose a number of ranges. So let's choose 15 ranges. You can choose up to, I think 200 is the maximum. So if I choose 200, that's it. It doesn't take more than 200. Obviously we don't need that much, 12, ranges I think will be plenty or 15 whatever you choose for our surface and by clicking on this arrow here that will start or initiate the analysis okay so this is the legend of our surface and this is the analysis of the surface that will tell us exactly what each color represents and we've done the analysis here and just divided our surface into about 12 ranges of elevations apply and okay that created the analysis now on our surface changed the ranges slightly and what we can do if we can add that legend into our drawing here by just clicking on the legend here ask me what kind of legend that we, we need to choose elevations and do you want to be dynamic or static legend static will do the job for an existing surface because that will remain as is but Anyway, dynamic always a better way to show us any changes that have been done and asking where do you want to place the legend. Just choose a place on our screen and this is our legend here. So based on the 
elevations here you can see the red kind of pinky color number one is the lowest elevation and the purple color representing the highest elevations from 70 to 78 meters so this is one of the good features that will tell us to start with the elevation ranges on our surface just a better dimension on our surface to show us the even the smallest area as a space represented by a color for showing elevations one of the other useful tools that we can look into is the slope arrows so that will tell us where the slopes are and where the highest slopes so if I go back to our surface and we go again to the surface style I'll turn off the elevations so we don't have two things at the same time let's choose the slope arrows so if we go to the slope arrows that if I apply and turn on that feature all what we did here just turning on the feature on the display or for on our surface style just choosing OK if I choose a legend for that surface arrows and will ask me what kind of legend we need to add so if I go to slope arrows and we'll keep it dynamic and place that as you can see the slope arrow legend here or the table will be empty although we have all the arrows there and that's because on purpose I left the analysis step out so you can see if you choose the legend without analyzing your surface without providing the software the ranges that you would like and press the analysis button it will not show you these ranges and within the legend so to do that we go back again to surface properties and we go on to the analysis this time rather than analyzing the elevations we analyze the slope arrows and what how many ranges we'll keep it the same 12 ranges and we press ok as you can see now your legend has been populated and we go pi and ok and because we chose a dynamic legend there for the arrows that is showing us again the arrows representing smaller slopes are in red and the highest sloped areas are in purple so that's a, a another good feature that tells us definitely when designing a road we should be avoiding all this area here the purple blue colors that's representing the highest slopes anyway with experience you'll be able to tell that by looking at the contours but just as a good starting point that by just looking at these arrows that will tell you an areas that has a minor slopes and other areas that has higher slopes so if we're designing a road it's a great idea maybe to go this way here and then crossing where the smallest areas of these purple arrows and then we go back to our other road here the second road we have here an existing road okay guys this is just a quick view on analyzing the surface I will hide all these arrows now um, just we don't need them anymore we'll delete the legend and we start with our alignment in our next video to hide these arrows again right click surf style we go to the display we turn them off and apply and OK and we don't need those anymore I'll delete them for now we've got them there stored we can add them at any time but we don't need to show them now we make more space for new components I will unhide all the other items that we've got there sorry not the units go unhide that will bring out the points we have right guys thank you